Breaking news. Police arrested five suspected kidnappers in a do rescue three victims as Obaseki takes on and signed and signs um, the anti-greasing law. You know, Governor Gordon Obaseki, the governor of Edo State, you know, uh, these are the Fulani headsmen, by the way. Don't think because they are wearing shirts and trousers. Don't get it twisted. They were apprehended because now uh, people now know who they are. Uh, uh, after the people of Edo State reportedly cried, it ought not to be so, okay? Some people that, that, that have died shouldn't have if Governor Gordon Obaseki, you know, uh, did what he was supposed to do on time. The Southern governors came together. He was in those meetings. They agreed, yes, and uh, they put a timeline as to when everybody should sign it. When Obaseki discovered he could no longer hide that um, his heart was not with the Southern governors, he resorted to saying, hey, if he signs it now, how will he, how will he, uh, you know, implement it? Anyway, by the time Fulani headsmen will run from a, uh, on those states, they will run to Edo State. They will run from the south, south, southeast, and the destination is Edo State. And the people cried to the government house. House, he had no choice but to join the queue. Uh, the the the, the uh, anti-grazing, uh, anti-open grazing law is already passed second reading. He is ready to put his signature on it as he started the whole process and now they are catching the Fulani headsmen one after the other. Let's get all the details. Thank you. Operatives of Edo State Police Command have arrested five Fulani headsmen who are kidnappers and rescued three kidnapped victims. Spokesman of the command SP Kocho Bello, who disclosed this in a statement on Tuesday, February the 22nd, said that the operatives operation which led to the arrest and rescue Rescue we are coordinated by the Divisional Police Office DPO of the Igbagbozo Police Division area. The suspected kidnappers, all Northern and Fulani headsmen, we are identified as Mohammed Ali, Abdu Uman, Bello Tabuye, Hassan Hamed, Abdu Bello, and Badego were nabbed at their hideout in Odu community area of Igbo Bozo Ovie Southwest local government area of Edo State on Monday, February the 21st, pretending to be looking after their cows, but their main job was kidnapping. The operatives of the Edo State Police Command, led by, by Divisional Police Officer on the 21st of February 2022, at about eight, that is a six fifty, acting on credit credible information, arrested five May Fulani headsmen in about at their hideout in Odu community area, in Ovie Southwest local government area of Edo State. The following people have been terrorizing the community and the place and picking up people kidnapping. The suspects are Mohammed, who is 25, Abdu, who is 30, Bello, who is 24, Hassan, who is 24, and, Am and Adamu, who is 26. Why one Badegu male son name unknown, who is believed to be the principal suspect, is currently on the run. They are linked to the kidnapping cases reported to have to have occurred on the 4th also of February at 2022 or about 7 p.m. in the area. The suspects have already making useful information that led to the arrest of other gangs in the area as they were various they were in various colonies working pretending as Fulani headsmen. They were railed in courts according accord, as soon as investigation is concluded, the police have said they will be arrayed in court. So this is what is happening. Why Governor Gordon Obaseki refused to sign the anti grazing law up until now, I cannot tell you. If I tell you I can't, if I tell you I can't, I will be deceiving you. So I can't tell you that. Okay, but thank God, you know, it is, it is, they will say it's better late than never. Yes. So thank God. Um, I mean, by the time the people started crying, you see wives will cry there with children saying there are five of them. Oh, how will I feed them now? We had a farm, but my husband is the big part. He's the one who does all the farm work and duty. And now, because you refuse to sign this law, Fulani headsmen roam about freely. And they have committed, they have done this, they have done that in this community. And here it is now. What do you see? You know, when these things began to come, you had no choice but to begin to listen.
blessing or yield to the people. Here we are today. Here we are today, and these things are beginning to, you know, show up for every one of us to see that it is no longer business as usual. There were many things that, you know, they did and get away with it, but guess what? It is no longer the same. As you can see now, uh, what, you know, they thought that, um, maybe Obaseki thought that he could, you know, he could get away with it. It is no longer, you know, it's no longer going to be easy that way. For whatever reason, he didn't want to sign it. I cannot tell you. It, just himself and God knows why. But however, it, like they said, it's better late than never. Okay. And so the, the, the thing has, you know, it's already passed second reading and uh, it will be signed very soon. But get meanwhile, he has, you know, Governor Godno Baseki has, um, you know, prompt the security operatives to get swing into action and ensure that, you know, they get things done as soon as possible so that, um, you know, things can go well and people can live their life in safety and go about their legitimate businesses so i mean when you look at it security for instance the government of the day has turned nigerians to people who as asking for you know for security is as though you know you are asking for too much like you are asking for what you know what uh, what you don't deserve so to say you know that's the way it has become you know as if it it's it, it, it's it's not your right to have security that's how bad things are by the way that's how bad things are that's how bad things are and so my wonderful people the time to move forward the time to make that real impact and change transformation that will move us forward is now so what do we do a call for mm -hmm. everyone to come to the place where you know uh, 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 we, we can get out of the current predicament, you know, and uh, come into a real position of true increase and, you know, true moving forward and, you know, progressing forward is now. OK, so this is what we're talking about. This is the new this is the new terrain and this is what is happening. Anyway, my wonderful people. We, we're going to be keeping you up to speed as the matter unfolds because um, there are so many things that we need to we need to know, be abreast of what is happening around us in our society, you know, all around us so that we can move forward, you know. The time to move forward, the time to work on those things is now uh, because there are so many people who do not, you know, share the, the, the true perspective of, you know, change and what they want is, you know, them being the center of the, of the whole thing without paying attention to others sadly these are the kind of people we have around us but leave us a comment we'd love to hear from you please don't forget to like us share subscribe god bless you have a lovely and a fantastic day bye for now